This is called I Believe. Y'all put your hands together. Come on. Give me a something. Well, hey there, everyone, and welcome to another MCC moment. My name is Pastor Matt, and I'm just sitting here in reflection of what took place on uh, Sunday of where I just really felt that the Lord just really led us through um, just a significant time of not only worship but communion and then really set us up for a powerful time in the Word. Um, I really felt a couple of things in relation to Sunday and that was uh, firstly that the Lord is really wanting to minister to people who um, have experienced a sense of failure and experienced a sense of uh, fear or even the fear of failure. And uh, I would say this to you that um, failure or the fear of failure really robs us of our um, belief, not only to believe within ourselves, but to believe also uh, of uh, the hand of God in a matter. And uh, I would encourage you just, uh, you know, take it to the Lord. Um, you do not need to fear failure and uh, don't base your future on past areas of your life where you felt that things have failed or that you have failed. And I would encourage you, you know, step out in that and believe for something great. Well, uh, Sunday. Sunday was significant. Um, um, somebody said uh, to me that they felt that it was a real shift and a real um, next level that the Lord was taking us into as a church. I'd encourage you to check out, check out the, uh, the, uh, the Sunday service uh, via our YouTube or uh, even Facebook and uh, catch up with that that way. But I entitled the message Encounters and Disappointments, which seems a bit, a bit strange, a bit funny in church life because, you know, generally speaking, we don't love to talk about disappointments. But you'll see, and I will put it up, but you will see that there's a QR code here um, that went, yeah, we'll do it this way. You might be able to do it this way. There was a QR code here that uh, would go straight through, that will take you through to a live and public link of the slides that we used on Sunday. So I would encourage you to check that out. But um, <clears throat> Sunday we started at the cross and that the cross of Christ, not just the crucifixion of Jesus, but the fact that he was raised again is absolutely paramount to our Christian faith and to our Christian walk. And the reason for that is that it adjusts and it changes our stance in relate in how we relate to Father God, but also how we place our belief and how we place our, our faith. So if belief fuels faith, then also unbelief uh, and disbelief re reduces our faith. Um, and right through to that same principle is applied even uh, with um, people in our life as well. If we disbelieve them, then we tend to walk in less faith for them, right? And so, or less faith in them, I should say. And so the same is the true true with the Lord as well. And so a lot of people who don't, or who are unable to make that leap of faith, that step of faith, to cross that line, um, a lot of people uh, struggle because they can't believe, or they don't believe, or they don't choose to believe. And so, therefore, there is this element of um, coming back to the cross, a historical documented fact of what took place. It is absolutely in the history books, not just in the Bible, but in the history books of uh, historians over the years. So, you know, we, we can take it that far. And often, you know, within the Western world, we forget that there's a whole, there's a whole um, uh, you know, that Middle Eastern region of where Israel is, etc., of where so many significant things took place, of when it's not only just the Bible that backs it up. Anyway, we started the cross. You can't have the cross without repentance. And it's not just an apology. I'm sorry, Lord, I did it. It is a 180 degree turn of where we forsake what we were and we move into who God is calling us to be. And then we talked about the fact that sometimes we can feel as though God is absent. And that's a very, very real thing. I mean, Jesus said these words, Lo, I am with you always. And yet that's a promise, but at times we feel as though God is absent. It's in those moments and it's in those disappointments that we've got to be careful that unbelief or disbelief doesn't, we don't build theology around that. What has to happen is that we, that we move into a place of understanding that those are the opportunities to apply faith. 
those are the opportunities of where belief has to fuel our faith because it's easy to believe when things are going well it's easy to believe right but when when our back up is, when our back is against the wall then it's those times that is the measure of our faith it's the measure of our tenacity it develops perseverance character and hope and the bible goes on to say hope does not disappoint and that's romans 5. so this is all to the point of we experience all of these things in the world all of those things in life to the point of where we are led into a place of encounter now encounter is important why encounter is important if you can hear me over the plane that's flying over encounter is important because that fuels our faith and we have to learn to position ourselves in a place of where we can encounter the Lord, of where we can invite his presence, where we can be in that place of repentance, belief, faith, not coming back. We can take our disappointments and those moments of where we feel that God is absent. We can take those moments to him. He's big enough to handle those as well. And we step into this place and opportunity of encounter. And you see that happens. It can happen on a Sunday morning. It can happen at church. It can happen in the bedroom. It can happen in the car. But the point is, is that we're always looking to have an encounter with the presence of God. And not only that, but stepping into a place of where we become a signpost to others also. What God has done in my life, he can do for you. What God has done in your life, that's an opportunity for the advancement in my own life. Okay, so we become an, a, a signpost of encounter as well. And let me tell you, people who are growing, people who are experiencing balance and success in their life, what I see mostly is that they have encountered the Lord. People who have stepped out in faith have had significant encounters which have empowered them for living and they've gone on to do even greater things. And that's the promise of the Lord for you. When we encounter him, we encounter greater things. Well, uh, there's so much more to talk about, but I hope that's been helpful. Check out the service. I'm going to post a couple of slides in this, in this video here, uh, but especially that QR code. You can go back to the slides from Sunday and uh, revisit them and just pray about them. All right, guys, God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful, have had a wonderful week. Have a wonderful week together. And uh, we'll see you Sunday morning. God bless the church. See you.